Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Deepseek has released another new model which is the version 3.1 and I am thinking that why they have released such a weak model because you see that on every benchmarks like on reasoning and knowledge on this coding and on the scientific reasoning on this AIME GPQA in all of that benchmark areas it it is performing very worse even in it cannot beat that coin 3 model it cannot beat that uh, gpt oss you remember that some days ago openai released that gpt oss model this deep seek version 3.1 model cannot beat that openai open source model also then why will i use this model here you see that they have highlighted some of the updates like hybrid thinking model more efficient reasoning improved reasoning for search better tool calling and agentic capabilities but these features are of no use because if you see that they have actually differentiated this thinking and non-thinking properties nothing more than this and just they have improved this version 3.1 from the previous deepseek r1 and they have updated their chat.deepseek.com to that version 3.1 and they have completely removed that deepseek r1 now this deepseek uh, version 3.1 is having that uh, version 3 and plus thinking mode okay now previously uh, they released that deepseek r1 now we people are waiting for the deepseek r2 but there is no deepseek r2 and instead of that deepseek r2 they have released such a weak model that is of no use okay so here you see that on this uh, live code benchmark on this coding here you see that uh, this model this deepseek version 3.1 with reasoning capabilities it is performing worse than this coin 3 model okay and if you see that this coin 3 model on this open router it has pricing this 0.078 dollar for the 1 million input token and if you see that deepseek version 3.1 the new pricing where it has updated here you see deepseek version 3.1 api new pricing for 1 million token it is charging 0.56 dollar it is very much interesting means uh, this coin 3 model this coin 3 model is charging 0.078 dollar okay 0.078 dollar but deepseek new model this version 3.1 is charging 0.56 dollar but if you see the benchmark this coin 3 model is completely beating this deepseek version 3.1 then why should i go for this uh, deepseek version 3.1 new model i will not go anymore because i am getting the advantage of coin 3 model with the less pricing very very less pricing okay and also if you compare this uh, model uh, with the uh, this uh, gorg 4 okay and also this gpt 5 high then uh, and also you see that uh, gpt oss which is the open source model and this dipshik uh, this new model cannot beat that open source model also on this humanities last exam on reasoning and knowledge benchmark and this uh, humanities last exam this hle is the actually a hard exam okay and this model ha doesn't have the capability to beat that and on this mmlu pro there also this model uh, cannot beat that gorg 4 and gpt5 high okay and also here you see there are there are lots of benchmarks on this competition okay uh, here also this coin 3 model is performing better than this dfc version 3.1 in most of the areas in most of the areas this coin 3 model is beating this dfc version 3.1 model then why sh will i go for this uh, uh, for this dfc version 3.1 i should definitely go for this coin 3 model because it is completely open source and if you use it through this open router api then the price is very much less right and coin 3 also have their uh, best model which is the coin 3 coder there also the price is very low less and here you see that you will get this coin 3 coder free for with the open router and if you use it through api there also you see that the price is very less than this uh dipstick version 3.1 okay 
and uh, this was a thing that i wanted to discuss with you guys because here you see that we are waiting for this dipsy r2 model and there is a drama huge drama is going on that they are saying uh, it is getting delayed due to the huawei ascent chip issues and uh, we don't know what is the exact reason but uh, as they are not uh, releasing their dipsy r2 model so instead of that r2 they have released a new version of uh, that uh, dipsy v3 and they have removed that r1 and uh, it is a huge drama it is completely my opinion i don't know uh, that why they have released uh, this model but yeah it is open source if you want to use this model for your uh, learning purpose for your uh, development purpose then you can definitely use this model it is available on this hugging face uh, but uh, for your daily task and for your development purpose uh, in case of production ready code i will not recommend this model and uh, it is completely my opinion so i hope that you got the idea from this uh, channel that uh, or from this video that uh, what is this dipsy version 3.1 model and why uh, this model is very bad for me at least and uh, if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also and here you see that in this channel i have already published many videos for you guys only so please do check out that videos and give a thumbs up to this video see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye